Hello my animal lovers friends. In this video I will explain in more detail why I said that the gorilla will not defeat a black bear unless it has a considerable weight advantage. I have read all your comments, and I decided that it would be good to explain some aspects in more detail, especially because many of these rules will apply to other confrontations between a carnivorous animal and one that feeds in particular with plants and does not have to hunt. For example, in the next episode we will analyze a possible fight to the death between Eurasian lynx and Chakma baboon, and these details will help us. As I mentioned in the last episode, it is almost impossible to calculate an average weight of an adult male black bear, compared to the entire population. But, there are some studies that have tried to estimate their average weight in several North American states. Thus, the highest value was established as belonging to specimens from the Lake Tahoe region, Nevada. According to these studies, adult male black bears in this region would weigh an average of 304 pounds or 138 kilogram. We already know that an adult male gorilla weighs an average of 460 pounds or 210 kilogram. So, because the average weight of a gorilla is more than 25% higher than the weight of a black bear we can say, in general, even by my criteria, that the gorilla will win this fight. But we know that in extremely rare cases, a black bear can reach an incredible weight of 1,100 pounds or 500 kg. That is why it seemed fair to me to analyze the situation in which the two fighters would have equal weights. I concluded that in this situation the black bear is the favorite and most of you did not agree with that. So I will explain to you why I came to that conclusion. As you know, in the real world prey is always more likely to escape, either by fleeing or by intimidating and discouraging the aggressor from attacking it. But in our hypothetical fights, as I tell you every time, we start from the hypothesis that the two animals accept the fight and are equally motivated to kill their opponent. Here it is no longer enough to show your fangs or punch yourself in the chest, you need to know how to kill your opponent. For this reason, predators will always have a huge advantage over other animals that are not used to hunt, and fight only when they have to defend themselves. A predator knows where and when to hit his opponent to kill him as soon as possible. An animal that hunts at most ants, no matter how strong and intelligent, will not be able to survive face to face with a natural born killer, experienced and armed as such, unless it has another considerable advantage, for example, it is much larger. From the videos I've made so far and from your comments, I realized that there are some animals whose qualities are overrated. I will not name them all now, because I do not want to annoy even more people, but I will still tell you that the gorilla is one of them. It is easy to understand why people are fascinated by gorillas. First of all, because he looks so much like us. Secondly, because movies, books and cartoons like King Kong and Tarzan have fed our imagination since we were children. But we have to differentiate between fantasy and reality. And in reality, gorillas are gentle, social animals that are peaceful most of the time. It is true that dominant males become real demons when they feel threatened, but this is true for all wild animals when they are pushed to the wall. The black bear is certainly more shy, but I will repeat once again one of the essential conditions of our game, the animals are equally motivated to kill each other. We must always remember the premises from which we started, because you cannot referee a match whose rules you do not know. And this is a mistake that many of those who have not seen all the videos in this series make. Yes, if these two animals were to meet in reality, most likely no fight would take place. But in our hypothetical confrontations this option does not exist. It all comes down to the qualities of the two fighters. And you have to remember one very important thing. If in general, most animals are disadvantaged in one way or another by the rules of our game, bears are not at all disadvantaged, on the contrary. The biggest problem for bears in real life, when they have to hunt, is that they are not fast enough to easy catch prey such as ungulates, nor are they as skilled at sneaking and ambushing as cats. They like the face-to-face -face fight the most, and that's what the rules of our game lead to. I have noticed that many of you attach far too much importance to the strength of the bite. I've told you on other occasions, and I repeat it, an animal does not need to bite with a force of 1,300 pounds per square inch to be an effective killer. It is enough for his bite to be well placed and strong enough to be able to cut the spinal cord. The black bear is good at this, the gorilla is not. 
And here is the major difference between an animal that is programmed to kill and one that fights chaotically to save its life. Even though the gorilla can bite with a force greater than the black bear, its mouth is not anatomically built to kill, but to crush woody materials such as banana trees. Not coincidentally, carnivores have elongated snouts. This ensures a wider opening of the jaws and a better grip. Just think how easy it is for a dog, even a smaller one, to catch a tennis ball in its mouth. Now, try the same thing, even if you are 4 to 5 heavier and bigger than him. It is true that your mouth is not the size of a gorilla's, but the dog's mouth is not the size of a black bear's, so you got the idea. Besides the fact that the gorilla cannot have a bite as precise and effective as that of a bear, it will have to fight closely with an animal that holds five knives in each hand. Just look at what these cars look like after some black bears decided to look for something to eat in them. The gorilla has opposable fingers and is probably stronger than the black bear at the same size. But do you think he will succeed in winning against such an opponent by trying to strangle him or punching him? I can't believe that. Some have also suggested that the gorilla could use a stick to hit the bear. The truth is that although some captive specimens have proven that they can sometimes use tools imitating humans, this behavior is an exception rather than a natural thing. Gorillas do not use tools as often as chimpanzees and in addition, to be effective with such a weapon requires a degree of skill that these animals do not have. So, these are the main arguments in support of the verdict I gave to this fight. Of course, there are many other aspects that matter, but we will talk about those another time. I hope that these clarifications will make you see things from other perspectives. I am very surprised that although I try to choose the most balanced fights, I often see comments like, X is the winner 100%, there is no match here. I can only consider that such people look at things very superficially. I know it would be easier for me to talk to you for 10 to 15 minutes about two animals, and at the end to tell you, it's a very hard fight, you decide the winner, as I saw that it is practiced on other channels even in the case very unbalanced fights like, Gorilla vs Grizzly Bear. That way, I wouldn't upset anyone, but I respect you more than that, and I can't disregard you in that way. So, I hope you think hard about what I told you in this video and please tell me your opinions in the comments. Next time we will talk about, Eurasian Lynx vs Chakma Baboon, until then take care of yourself and those you love. Thank you for being here and for all your support.